delayed gratification. Let me ask you, must you eat whatever you come across whenever you come across it simply because you're hungry? Must you have sex whenever you feel like with whoever is available? Must you buy whatever you admire even on debt? Must you go for a vacation even on liabilities? Must you buy a car that you can't even afford on loan? Must you sleep whenever you feel like drowsy, dopey, and sluggish? People who control their food appetite enjoy better health at the long run. You know, folks who can't control what they eat eventually suffer from either overweight or obesity or even other health complications. People who control their sex urges enjoy a better sex life in the long term and a better life on the whole. People who can't control their sex urges end up with venereal diseases, they are heartbroken, they separate to their partners, they break their marriages. People who can't plan their vacations eventually can't relax on arrears. People who plan their vacations enjoy their holidays more. You see, you can't completely relax on your holiday, on your vacation, on arrears. People who buy the car that they can't afford eventually don't enjoy it. People who buy the car that they afford they eventually, at the long run, enjoy using the car more. People who control their sleep, they end up doing better in their studies, better in their career, better in their business. You just can't sleep whenever you feel like. People who are able to control their sleep end up sleeping better in the long haul. If you watch TV whenever you feel like, you browse through social media whenever you feel like, you are a party animal. You don't control your social interactions. You can go and party when you have a test the following day. You can go and party at the expense of your work. You will end up being a failure in life. People who have the ability to save money, to save their income, build wealth over time. A lot of people are stressed and depressed because they live from heart to mouth. It is not because they earn little but it's what they do with their money that matters. And because of looking for shortcuts to success, a lot of people have sunk into debts because they have gone into betting and other get-rich-quick schemes, which are as calm. No one literally created sustainable wealth through a get-rich-quick scheme. We've got to master patience. I ask you today, do you want the small treat right now or the larger treat afterwards? Do you have the courage to resist the temptation to get an immediate treat? Do you have the courage to control your urges, impulses, passions, desires, and cravings? Do you have the ability to resist an instant pleasure and receive a later and even better reward, a sustainable, a long-term reward? Delayed gratification is the ability to wait to get what you really want. Animals can't wait to satisfy their urges. Delayed gratification is what differentiates you from animals. Animals eat whenever they feel hungry. They fight whenever they are provoked. They mate whenever they sense that their mate is on heat. They don't wait. They pee whenever they feel like. You are a human being. You must learn to control your body. Children can't wait to satisfy their urges. They cry whenever they feel the least discomfort. It is delayed gratification that is the hallmark of maturity. That's what differentiates you from immature people. Delayed gratification is the willpower, the self-control, the ability to resist temptations, cravings, urges, and to stick to our goals. Delayed gratification is the ability to put off what we want now in order to get something better, more rewarding later. 
Delayed gratification is choosing a long-term reward over an immediate gain. Delayed gratification is a delicate balance between delaying the urges that we have right now and postponing living. You don't have to postpone life. Yes, we've got to live right now. Life is for the living, but we don't have to satisfy every urge right now. Impulse buying is often prompted by peer competition. People who lack their own self-validation, people with low self-esteem, people who lack self-confidence and they are seeking for external validation. They want to buy something they can't afford for others to recognize them. They are trying to appease people who don't even like them in the first place. Why allow others to control your finances? Why allow others to destroy your finances? You know, instant gratification is a habit. It is developed over the time. It is choosing pleasure over patience. That's instant gratification. Similarly, we can develop the habit of delaying gratification. We can develop the muscle to delay gratification. And to develop delayed gratification, three things. Number one, focus on long-term goals. Don't be short-sighted. Don't lose your birthright like Esau did to a single meal. Just a one-time meal. Esau surrendered his birthright to his brother Jacob. Simply because he was hungry, he just needed some soup, some lunch. And he surrendered a long term, actually an eternal <laughs> blessing to satisfy a hunger for a single day. Don't satisfy an immediate urge at the expense of a lifetime goal. Number two, to, delay to learn to delay gratification, don't compare yourself with others. Don't buy stuff out of peer pressure. You don't know where those guys are getting their money. You don't know whether they are buying those stuff on liabilities, on debt. You have no idea whether they are accumulating their debt burden. You don't know whether someone gifted them. Don't sleep around to impress anyone or to prove any point. Embrace discipline if you want to live long. Lack of discipline will kill you before your time. To learn to delay gratification, number three, surrender your life to God. How? Through prayers. On our own, we won't succeed in delaying gratification. Actually, delaying gratification is the word economists use. The spiritual equivalent is self-control. And self-control is part of the fruit of the Holy Spirit described in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. It is not our fruit it is the fruit of the Holy Spirit. In other words, it is the Holy Spirit who produces that fruit in the life of the believer. What's that? The character and the nature of Jesus Christ. It can only be produced by the Holy Spirit at work in us. That's why Jesus said, the spirit is willing, our spirit, our human spirit. But the flesh is weak. Then he said, watch and pray. Here is the answer. Because in your spirit, in your heart of hearts, inside of you, you want to do the right thing. But your flesh is weak. It wants to satisfy urges and cravings right now. But in your spirit, inside of you, you want to delay gratification and do what is right before God. So Jesus said, watch and pray. Because the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So here are two things. Watch. Meaning... Be careful with your inputs. Be careful with what you see and what you watch, what you hear, what you see, what you hear. Because the eyes are the windows of the soul and the ears are the doorway to the heart. And scripture says, above all else, guard your heart out of which proceeds comes the issues of life. Guard your heart for everything you do comes from it. That's the holy word of God. So you've got to guard, to watch means guard your eyes, guard your ears, and then pray. Watch and pray. Only by God's power, only by the Holy Spirit producing the fruit of the Spirit, part of which is self-control, which finance people and economists call delayed gratification. Delayed gratification is critical for an individual, 
for a household, even for a nation. No one can satisfy all your needs. No one. At any given moment, you've got to prioritize your needs because our needs are always much more than our income. Be careful not to consume what you have not produced. Don't consume more than you produce. Don't even consume before you produce. Make sure that whatever you consume, you have already earned. Every time you sweep your credit card, you're consuming what you have not yet produced. And that's a very good recipe for stress. Learn to delay gratification as you go for window shopping. Don't pick every outfit whenever you feel like. Don't pick every pair of shoes. Don't pick everything you come across. Learn to delay gratification. I normally give a formula. Give 10% to your local church. Give 10% to charity. That means the widows, the poor, the orphans, the homeless, the, the needy. 10% to your passive income. I mean, it could be something like stocks or investing in bonds. 10%. You can give it for your active income, investing in a business. You've seen a business potential somewhere. You can take a risk into that business. Be an investor. And 60% is all your expenses. And out of that 60%, only about 25% should go to your house, whether it's rent or mortgage. That's usually the formula I give. At any given moment, do not leave from heart to mouth. There's a book I love written by a Jewish rabbi. Thou shalt prosper. Look for it. It's going to bless your heart. It's a life-changing book. Well, if you learned something in this video, please give me a comment and share this video with others. And let's learn to delay gratification. And kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. And remember to hit the notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos. I upload new videos every week. You don't want to miss out on my latest videos. Thank you so much and God bless you. <laughs>